Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to talk about the indie titles and bite-sized games that I've been playing on the Nintendo Switch. There's a ton of games coming out, and it's really nice to see Nintendo have a healthy volume of games coming out every week, 15 to 25 to be exact, on the eShop, with announcements that there might be more in the future. That's a lot of games, and I just chose some games in my library that I've received or purchased and to talk about them and I want to show you some titles that you may have overlooked. So sit back, relax, and let's look at some games. You know I've had my Nintendo Switch now for about a little bit under a year and a half and I have over 50 games on it. And a lot of these games are fun bite-sized indie titles and I really think that's the strength of the Nintendo Switch library. And some of these games aren't going to be for everybody, but I have found a lot of great, fun gameplay and fun bite-sized games. If physical releases are your thing, then you may want to consider Shelter Generations. Shelter Generations is the third release by Super Rare Games, and it's actually an indie game two-pack. Really unique, it comes with a set of cards, a sticker, and limited to 3,000 copies. The game actually includes two indie titles and both their soundtracks, which is neat that it's included on the cartridge. Shelter 2, pretty much you play the role of a mother lynx and you're taking care of nurturing your cubs. You start off the game, you're pregnant, really kind of neat. It's got some cool aspects to it. It's just something you need to experience. I really enjoy uh, these indie title games. Really, really kind of a neat kind of open world adventure game, and it's it's got a just a unique premise, and so I really, I really want to have some more time playing this. Just wanted to show some quick shots of video of what the game looks like. Pause the Shelter Two game is a standalone experience based within the same world. It is a poetic adventure you need to explore and survive the wilds as a cub, interacting with the environment and forging a surprising alliance. Yeah, I really like this this whole interaction with nature and this 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 it's just a really really cool idea. I definitely want to play this game more. It is definitely um, something I, I I think I'm gonna learn a lot. But yeah, I really enjoy it. Again, pause two. There's a lot of puzzles, exploratory. This is a Pretty interesting game. I really like the art style of both of these games. I didn't have a lot of time to play them, but I really look forward to diving more into this game and checking it out. This is a free-to-play Galaxy Variant S by 17-bit. It's kind of a, if you take like a game like Subterranea, you add graphics that remind me of something from the GameCube era slash cell phone and mix it with kind of like a kind of like a shooter RPG. And it's really interesting. It's the best way to describe it, you have lots of upgrades, you have uh, you have bots which you can add to your ship, upgrades, you find parts, and there is an in-game currency, these crash coins which you can purchase as well. But I I really like this game for just being free. So you can maneuver into these levels by either uh, piloting a mech or a ship and many upgrades are available and you can play this game completely free. I messed around about it about an hour so this isn't a review but just wanted to kind of show you that it's 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 got a really neat premise to it and I liked it. It was kind of fun to mess around with this game. Gameplay a little bit reminiscent of the arcade game Gravitar. You gather items and you take these relics you can go back and identify them and upgrade your ships. You find in-game items and you use them to unlock bots which then upgrade your weapons and, sh and ship. And there's a lot, a lot here to like. And it's definitely, it's definitely something that I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more of. The missions are short at the start and they get longer as well as you get you go through this gate here and you can go back to the main menu where you can upgrade your ship and your bot. 
Next up is a release from Johnny Turbo's Arcade, and that's Express Raider. An Express Raider is a throwback arcade game in which you're a bank robber, robbing a train. Kind of has various gameplay aspects. It's pretty neat. Kind of side scrolling, but then it goes to like a third person like shooting mode. Not bad. You know, playing this game, it kind of reminds me of a cross between Russian Attack meets Year Kung Fu. Take that, take that. So you have to progress along the train. There's bombs everywhere. The bad guys have long health bars. So it's kind of like kind of a mini fighting game in a way and you, as you progress farther and farther along the train. Guys, the shovels are vicious. And at the end, at the end, you grab the money. Yeehaw! Next part goes to like a wild guns mode in which you have to duck. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Now you got something that's kind of cute. It's Totes the Goat, and I'm a really big fan of Qbert, so I definitely was interested in checking this out. And Totes the Goat is it's kind of your simple take on Qbert, and it's got a lot of different modes, and you collect coins to unlock characters. And these are just some of the characters that you can unlock. The game is really short, and I unlocked everything for within a couple hours. This is a great game if you just want to kill time, and say you're in line somewhere. It's not that expensive. You know, that's one thing I really like about the Switch, is that it has games such as this, where you just want to kill some time, and you want to download something fun, just to play, and I like it. The game plays a lot like Hubert. I think it plays a little bit better and by collecting currency in each level you can unlock characters and the, the levels are fun and fast and furious and I found myself being very addicted to this game. Fun little arcade style game, a lot of fun, check it out. So there you have it, some interesting games, there's going to be a lot of games on the eShop I definitely recommend if you haven't taken some time to search the eShop and look at the diversity of games being released on the Nintendo Switch. Now, for many of you, you're probably playing Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Octopath Traveler, maybe something else, a heavy hitter. You know, you're gonna have your heavy hitter games. You're gonna have your games in which that's why you bought the console. And then you're gonna need a break. Like for example, if you're into like a heavy RPG, like for me, if I'm playing something and it's it's you know multiple hours, I I need to take a break from that and to play in like an arcade release. And so that's why I kind of wanted to showcase these games today for people that want to take a break from kind of a mainstream title and play something else. Or maybe you're one of those gamers that play nothing but the indie releases. One thing's for sure, you know, a long time ago indie releases were just kind of sprinkled with the heavy AAA titles. Now it's like a flip-flop. It's like there's a ton of indie releases and it's sprinkled with AAA titles. I really love it. I really like that about the Nintendo Switch library. What are you playing? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you about what games that you're playing on the Nintendo Switch. I've had my console now for over 15 months. I love it. It's great. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any cracks. My console's not bent. And that's just, I kind of wanted to give a report of that as well. I play mine every week. My kids play on it. I do respect my items. I do keep take care of them. But I know there's been some reports there as well, some hardware issues. But me personally, I can report. I'm not seeing any of that on my end. Thank you for everybody continuing to tune in to my Humble channel as now I march towards 70,000 subs. If you've been checking into my channel this last month, you've noticed that I've started to do some live streams. I love it. It's great. And I'm going to be sprinkling those in to my channel. It's not going to overtake everything. It is easier to do a live stream and less editing, something that is not my, my first and foremost. I like to do live streams. It's easier to edit and it's fun. It's a great way of interacting with people and asking questions and talking about games. And so I want to continue to do that on my channel and look forward to doing some awesome live streams on the PS4 
as well as continuing to do the chat ones in the future. Thank you so much. If you'd like to continue to support me, you can support me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get an exclusive video every month. Thank you. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.